Okay, what's up? I'm Misha. This is Misha C. Tarot. I hope you're doing well. All praises due to the Most High. Thank you, God. I thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, what's up? What's up? Go ahead and hit that like button because you clicked on this video for a reason. And I end the season. No, let me stop, y'all. Anyways, I just um wanted to tell you to um listen to your dreams. Listen to your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. If you got to wake up and snatch up a... a a receipt and start writing stuff down write it down because um my dreams has been revealing a lot to me things it revealed things to me before they happened and they helped me also just like um just this month just like this month my um my grandmother's birthday is this month and um Last time I did an ancestor reading, I started crying. I was like, gosh, is this going to be every time I do a reading, I'm going to cry? I hope not. Um, and it was a good cry. It was just, you know, I felt that. And so I'm like, okay. And, um, yeah, her birthday had passed. And I was just telling someone how much I miss her and how I love her and how much fun she was. And, you know, I just, I missed my grandmother when I was talking about her and the things she would say and the things she would do and how she would cor cor correct every little missaid word or mispronunciation, like she didn't play that. I remember one time, y'all, oh my God, I was a little girl. Me and my sister was a little girl. And I was like, do you know what the white girl brush is? She was like, oh! And she just looked at us. And we were like, <laughs> You know the hard brush, and then you got the one for the wig with the, with the teeth in it. We just called it the white girl brush. We didn't. The white girls used it. We was kids. So we're like, do you know what the white girl brush is? She was, <gasps> don't ever say that. She was like one of them type of grandmas. Like, But she was cool as hell. So I'm just like, you know, telling someone about how much I missed her and stuff. Y'all kid you not, yesterday sister calls me and she says hey we talk about an hour that's a confirmation for me we talk for about an hour and something and then she goes oh you know what i forgot to tell you grandma came to me in my dreams i said huh she said yes yeah, she came to me she looked exactly the same she even had her purple fingernails with the the flowers and stuff all on them she just described her down to a t the the, the box braids the everything and she was like um yeah, she was piffling through some stuff. We, me, you, and mom came in the house, and she was like, oh, hey, I was just going to call y'all. She's like, I just want to tell you girls, I am so proud of you. I am just so proud of you guys. You guys turned out to be just marvelous young women. And, you know, she's, my sister went on and on to say that, and it just it brought tears to my eyes. I was like, shut up, girl. You're going to make me cry. Because I was just telling someone yesterday how much I miss my grandma, and it's her birthday, and da 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 My sister always gets visited by my father. Ever since he passed, my father has only visited me three times. And he always goes and sees my sister. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just dead. But, yeah. So, I was, um, this month is actually the month my father passed away. And, um. Being that it was Easter, I was in my feelings, y'all. I got a reading that I posted, a couple of readings I did on Easter. You couldn't tell a, a nigga was crying, but I was crying. I was crying like somebody, like I scabbed my knee and nobody was outside to pick me up, y'all. I was crying. Like, I'm like, is this my energy? Like, what the hell? Is this me? And I'm like, yeah, girl, this you. Don't let it out. So crying is, is cleansing. Go ahead and cry. And I just cried, cried. And it was so crazy because the day, the day of um, his passing, I didn't, I didn't bat a tear. I didn't cry at all. I cooked dinner. I celebrated. I laughed, listened to music, all that good stuff. I didn't cry. Now, Easter came and I just didn't have that unit, that family unit around me like how I normally do with my father and all that stuff. And I took it like, ooh. Uh, like, ooh. So, what was I saying? So, yeah, I took it pretty hard, and I was just crying. I was like, you know, Dad, I miss you, and I wish you were here. I was speaking to him. 
and I kid y'all not, that night he comes to me in my dreams. I was a little girl in my dream. I was a little girl. I could see my ponytails hanging like over my face right here. I could see my ponytails and I was just above eye level of the kitchen table. And me and my sister were standing there and he was pouring milk into our cereal. And it was the most, it's so crazy because he never fed us frosted, frosted flakes, but we were eating frosted flakes. And it was the most basic is cereal, the most basic moment, just a random like a morning you get up, you pour the kids some cereal. And just something as simple as pouring some cereal and we had cereal and I grabbed my bowl and I remember like I, I just I could see my milk in my cereal and I grabbed my bowl and I go sit at the table then my sister comes sit at the table my dad grabbed his bowl he sat on the couch and we ate our cereal y'all and then I, I woke up that was my dream I just had a dream that I had a bowl of cereal with my dad and it was the most sweetest the most precious the most like oh something as simple as having a bowl of cereal it's just it's so it's so cherishable and it's such a, a beautiful memory because yeah i can't have a bowl of cereal with him today but just that moment of him coming to visit me and let me know you still my baby i'm still here i still love you i'm still protecting you It was that was that was deep for me to cry for him like that and then um him come see me and that night come on y'all so listen to your dreams follow your old dreams because they're telling you what's ahead to come for instance i have a big gap on my youtube channel where i did not post any videos for months but I also had a dream that I was like in the it was in the 18 1800s or some shit like that I don't know I want to say the 1700s because this was like we was riding motherfucking horses and I was like I was in rags and I didn't I don't even remember if I, I don't think I had shoes and it was just dirt and these people on these horses these men these white men was chasing me and I was gone. I was booking it, y'all. I'm gone. And they chasing me. I'm running through the bushes. I'm running through the trees. And then it gets to like um these sand hills. And I'm running up. I'm running through the sand. I'm running through the sand. Once I get to the top, I look down. It wasn't, it wasn't too much of an incline, but I look down and it's like a village. I go into the village and I slide under this like I don't know, you know how people got them big porches and they got that extra chunk of space that you can go under and actually go under like them plantation houses. Like, I felt like I was running from a damn slave owner on a goddamn plantation. Like, I felt like I was running and people was after me. And so I get to this house or wherever it is and I slide under there, but it's so crazy because it was sand, it was desert, it was dry. And I'm just, I laid under there and I just start scooping all this sand on top of me. I'm scooping all the sand on top of me, trying to hide myself, trying to bury myself. And it's these about five or six people standing about 10 feet away from me, 10 feet. They looking at me like, and they looking back at the white man coming. And they looking at me, and they looking at the white man coming. And they coming on the horses. And so these people were my race. They were black, and the men were white. And they was like taunting them. Where did she go? And da 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 da. And I, I know you know where she is. And that these people wouldn't tell on me. They didn't know me from a can of paint, but they wasn't gonna tell on me. They was not finna snitch. Mm mm. And that dream just to me, it, it made me. It's like I don't get confirmation until later, but um. That dream gave me the feeling that there are people, as far as like when I started this channel, there are people, it's not who you think is going to support you. It's going to be the people that you least expect and the motherfuckers you don't know. Like those people that was trying to help me, 
My family couldn't help me. My mama couldn't help me. My friend couldn't help me. My master couldn't help me. Couldn't nobody help me. But them people that was there. I didn't know them people. They was just there. They just happened to be there when I got there. And they helped get me covered up with that sand. And then they stood there like they didn't know where the fuck I was. And I didn't know them people from nothing. And they told me, you need to go away. It's time for you to disappear. They're going to be looking for you. And I kid y'all not, for the longest, something told me not to post. Not to upload a video, not to do no personal. I don't even do personal readings anymore. It just made me feel like... Once again, the support is not going to come from who you, who you think it's going to come from. And I was going through so much in that time, y'all. Uh, I was going through so much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, God knew that I didn't have time for this. God knew that it's going to be a need for you to go ahead and sweep that on up under the sand for a moment. Because right now I need you to focus on this. And it was just crazy to me how I got all that help from those people I didn't know and that support from those people I didn't know. But now, I see now, I see why, I see why. Another dream. Before me and my best friend, my whole life, since the fifth grade, before we detached, stopped communicating, whatever the case may be, before we stopped speaking, I had a dream that me and her were walking down my old block, my old neighbor in my old neighborhood, and we were walking down the block. You make a right, you make a left, and then you're on the next block. So we make a right, we going up the little side street, we go down my block, we make the right, and then we getting ready to make the left. Now we standing at the corner, going down the street to go to the left. I start walking, and I'm like, I look back, I'm like, come on. Now, mind y'all, the street is pitch fucking black. We walked. We walked from my street. It was dark. We made that right. It was dark. We getting ready to make a left. It's the same fucking dark. And I'm like, come on. Let's go. You know, like, come on. Let's go. She was like, mm-mm. I was like, come on. She was like, mm-mm. And now she folded her arms. Both of us had bondage on, which gave me like, yes, yeah, a need for us to protect our mind, protect your thoughts, protect your chakra. The crown chakra. And both of us had bondage on and we was walking down the street. We get to this dark street and I'm like, at the end of the street, it's this big old light pole. I'm like, it's some light down there. Come on. She wouldn't come down the street with me, y'all. She just stood there with her arms folded. I get three houses down into the block, and I'm like, hey, look, I'm fine. Like, nothing's happening to me. Nothing's touching me or, like, you know, nothing's harming me or, like, there's nothing to be afraid of. So, come on. And she would not come down the street with me. So, I'm like, okay. I walked down the street by myself. As soon as I got to the last house on the corner, stood under the light pole, the whole fucking everything lit up like it was daytime. Everything lit up like it was just like it was like really bright. You know how you walk outside in the morning and the sun hit your eyes for the first time. Like that's how bright it was. And um, I looked down the street and she was gone. I didn't see her. I don't know where she went. She didn't want to come with me though. Or maybe she couldn't come with me. And I had this dream, y'all, before we stopped communicating. This is the end of last year. I had this dream before we stopped communicating. Didn't know what it mean. Never mention it, never say anything about it because I'm still trying to, I was trying to understand it. This is the first time I've actually told anybody. Y'all. And her, she watching this. But, um, yeah. I knew there was going to be a, uh, a disconnect, a separation. I was going to not be able to go where she goes or she's not going to be able to go where I go. There's certain paths that you have to take and you have to take them alone. 
and that's just and then it's and then it almost gave me like you cannot let what people are afraid to do be the reason why you're not doing it don't let someone else's fear stop you from pushing forward or moving forward <laughs> and I'm just elaborating off my dream because I could have just stayed there with her but instead I kept going and I made it to the light so y'all take that hair it resonates but all I'm here to say is follow your fucking dreams they're a fucking gold mine man they tell you the truth you always you always get uh warnings before dis uh, destruction you always get signs and synchronicities and symbols to let you know that you're doing the right thing or you need to do a little bit better and um my dreams i just want i just came to say my dreams really been speaking to me lately so comment down below hit that like button and comment down below if there was a dream that specifically spoke to you those were a few for me um but take what resonates i love you guys i'm sending the utmost love and respect and i'm gonna go ahead and tap into this tarot in a minute peace